Welcome to another daily recap for Thursday, November 9, 2023. You're looking at a one minute chart of the spiders or the SPY and the four horizontal lines are levels that were identified and put on the chart before the market opened this morning. So these levels in the spiders are the basis for activating trades in the E-mini futures using a unique intraday trading strategy. Let's examine today's trades a little closer and see how they worked. So the spiders open up here and begin dropping into this first level quickly. But because of an important rule in the strategy that I use, no trades in the E-minis were activated until after 9.45 a.m. So this, this meant that price was allowed to fall down through and then spike back up through this 437.57 level all before that threshold in time was reached. And therefore, no trades were triggered at this point. But when the spiders came down into 436.95, the first 15-minute candle of the day had already closed, so, this, so the E-minis were primed to start receiving orders at this point. So then the first trade was triggered when the spiders touched the five cent buffer of 436.95, which means that when the spiders touched 437, an order was triggered to buy ES contracts here. And when that happened, these contracts were immediately in the money and reached the base hit profit target pretty quickly before they got to this next level, which by the way, was then still valid at this point. And when prices came back up into it, a order to sell ES contract short at the five cent buffer of this 437.57 level. So at 437.52, ES contracts were sold short and fell away. No indication that it was going to be a fumble. Looking for a certain threshold, a cer certain close of certain candles beyond a certain threshold that never happened above here, came down into the money. And both of these levels were off the table for the rest of the trading day. So then, as you can see, the price hung, er hung around these levels for quite a while, several hours. It wasn't until one o'clock or so that it was, there was a pretty drastic fall into this next level at 435.49 and same thing all over again found support there was a buffer there that triggered the trade for the futures the e-mini futures took off got a base hit come, falls back down through it doesn't matter because it's off the table at this point and this last level 434.03 it hit around 219 220 in the afternoon and a very quick base hit out of that so a lot of points are pulled out of the market and the e -mini future, a lot of ES points. And we can take a look at the tracking log to see how much money was made. You can use this legend up here to see at a glance that the four levels that of the six that hit all were base hits. Each four points, just the bare minimum. <clears throat> so 16 points in the ES and quite a bit of uh, profit potential depending on the number of ES contracts traded. And you can keep an eye on here in the total days and the total trade days. This is back testing that is happening behind the scenes. So the more days, I'm taking us back to the beginning of 2022. So it'll be about 500 days by the end of this year, 2023. This is middle of November of 2023. And so that will further refine these daily averages and the profit and the loss percentages. So I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.